Okay, moving on to the next question on the test. We have to determine the value of k, where the quadratic f of x equals kx squared minus kx plus 2 will intersect the line g of x is equal to negative 3x minus 7 at one point. Leave your answer as a simplified exact value. Now, if you remember from the lecture videos, we did a bunch of questions like this. When a line intersects a quadratic at one point, it means that it's tangent to the quadratic. All right, so if you remember, we showed this. If this is the quadratic, then we have a line here that is tangent to it, so it intersects it at one point. In this case, actually, the line has a negative slope, so it looks something like this. But anyway, you get what I'm saying. So if you remember from the lecture videos, how do we do these questions? We take the quadratic and make it equal to the line. Right, so we're figuring out where the quadratic and the line are going to intersect, specifically at what x values. And the method is you take everything, bring it over to one side, so we would have kx squared minus kx plus 2, bring this over, this becomes plus 3x, this becomes plus 7, and then we'll have 0 left on the right side. And then here you want to collect some like terms, so we'll have kx squared, this 2 and this 7, that ends up being 9, so we'll put that at the end, so we'll have minus kx plus 3x plus 9 is equal to 0, like that. And then if you remember, notice that minus kx plus 3x, those are like terms, but we can't add these coefficients because of this k here. But what we can do is um, we can factor out the x and put it in front. So we can have negative k plus 3x plus 9 is equal to zero. And if you want to make this look a little nicer, instead of putting negative k plus three, you could put three minus k. Both of those are the same thing. Right, does that make sense? So now we have a quadratic equation to solve, right? And if we're solving this quadratic equation and the line and the quadratic are gonna intersect at one point, we can only have one solution. And if you remember, if we only have one solution, that means the discriminant, b squared minus 4ac, has to equal 0, right? And from here, notice the a value is k, the b value is 3 minus k, and then the c value is 9. Right? So hopefully this is coming back to you from the lecture videos. If you don't remember this process, highly recommend you go and watch that section where we talked about the intersection of a line with a quadratic. I go over all the cases to do. I go over a bunch of these types of examples. Uh, so I'm going through this pretty quickly, but in the lecture videos, I explain it in a little bit more detail. So A value, B value, C value, we could just plug it in here and we know the discriminant is equal to zero because there's only gonna be one solution of this because it's the line and the quadratic are intersecting at one point. So here, for b, we would plug in 3 minus k, that entire uh, expression, that's going to go in brackets, so 3 minus k squared minus 4 times a, which is k, times c, which is 9. That's going to equal 0. And from here, we just have to expand everything, simplify, and then we'll have a quadratic to solve. So. 3 minus k times 3 minus k, that would give us 9 minus 3k minus 3k plus k squared, right, if you FOIL those two brackets out. And negative 4 times k times 9, that gives us negative 36k. That's going to equal 0. So this k squared here, that's in front. Negative 3k minus 3k, that's minus 6k. Or, uh, sorry, this is minus 6k minus 36k, that would give us minus 42 Okay, and then this plus 9, <clears throat> let's just put it in front here. So we got k squared minus 42k plus 9 equals 0. So we're left with this quadratic equation now to solve, and this actually doesn't factor smoothly, so we're going to have to throw it in the quadratic formula. So we know, in this case, quadratic formula is going to be what? k is negative b plus or minus 
b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So negative b, negative 42. So negative, negative 42, that turns into positive 42. And we'll have plus or minus negative 42 squared minus 4 times the a value of 1 times the c value of 9 all over 2 times 1. And that's going to be 42 plus or minus. Now, negative 42 squared minus 4 times 1 times 9. So negative 42 squared minus 36. That would give you 1728 in the radical. It's going to be all over 2. So from here, we have to write our answer as a simplified exact value. So what you want to do at this point is you want to see if you could simplify this radical further. So let's write this radical on the side. We got root 1, uh, 1728. And actually, you can split this up into root 144 times root 12. 144 times 12 is 728. And notice root 144, that, um, that's a rootable number. That's 12. So you could take 17... Uh, 1728, you can divide it by rootable numbers like 4, 9, 25, 36. 4 would work. I'm sure one of these other numbers would work as well. But a higher number that even works is 144. Right? So <clears throat> 144 times 12, 1728. Root 144 is 12. Then we'll have root 12 here. And then notice that root 12 we could simplify further as well. So root 12, we can split up into root 4 times root 3. And root 4 is 2. 2 times 12 is 24. So this is 24 root 3. So root 1728 simplifies to 24 root 3. So no matter which route you take, that should be your final answer. You could check your answer in your calculator too. You could take the square root of 1728, see what that decimal number is, then take 24 root 3, same decimal number. So we know root 1728 is 24 root 3, so let's go back to this big expression we're dealing with. Let's continue up here. So we'll have 42 plus or minus root 1728, 24 root 3. And we're going to be dividing by 2. Right? That denominator is still there. And then what we can do is once we have something in front here, we can split this 2 up into both. So we could do 42 over 2 plus or minus 24 root 3 over 2. Right? We just split that denominator up into these two expressions. 42 over 2 is just 21. This is plus or minus 24 divided by 2 is uh, 12. And then the root 3, there's no roots here that we're dividing by. So we would leave that as root 3. So that is the answer. There's actually two answers, 21 plus or minus 12 root 3. So one of the answers for K, 12 plus, uh, or sorry, 21 plus 12 root 3. Or the other answer is, um, and I'm going crazy here, 21 minus 12 root 3. All right, so those are your two answers. Those are the two K values for uh, here, for this quadratic, that would make this quadratic intersect with this line at one point.